All right, so today we're going to go over the eight angles attack in the system that I'm teaching for Filipino martial arts, uh, specifically the knife. So each weapon has a different numbering system, and also each Filipino martial art has a different numbering system as well. So in the system I teach, usually this is the starting position. It's almost like boxing stance. Normally you want the tip up except for with the karambit, which is normally ice pick. So angle one is just a quick jabbing motion where I hit the center line and come back. Targeting above the forehead so that blood goes down into the eyes, directly to the eyeball, or I'm targeting the throat. And again, I'm hitting the center line, applying pressure, and I'm going straight back. I find that this Cold Steel uh, Chris Voyager is really great for that, especially this forward, this very first uh, serration. I don't know if it's just the edge geometry or what, but I really love this knife for these like hacking motions where I'm just going. Yeah, so where I'm not so much slashing as I am just applying pressure and really using that for the cut. Reason why I don't want to slash through is because if I'm like this, I'm really vulnerable. I mean, I can try to punch you, you know, like some patterns, but I'm really vulnerable for you doing like a pox out or some other type of trap where now I can't really move this and now I'm open being killed. So for the angle one, really just wanting to jab. Uh, the reason why I'm moving my hand and touching my arm, there's a couple reasons, but for the most part, this is just to avoid me accidentally slashing my own hand or arm. So yeah, so angle one in my system, just hacky motion to the forehead, eye, or throat. Angle two is more of a slash. So I make contact and then I pull through after touching. Make contact, pull through. Targeting the exact same targets. So foreheads, the blood goes into the eyes, directly to the eyeball, or to the throat. Uh, for angle two, I find that the Cold Steel Luzon, extra large, is really better for this type of fighting. Yeah, I think it's really better for these slashing motions. So, again, angle one is right here, angle two. Angle three is targeting right above the elbow, trying to disable the arm or it's to the belly. Angle four is also a slash, and it's to either right above the elbow or to the belly. Now, angle five in my system is actually a slash upwards, like so. This is mostly against the angle one slash. So somebody's trying to cut my forehand side like this. Step away, cut. So that's angle five in this system. The angle six, like so, this is mostly a frame to stop a thrust coming towards me. So one, two, three, four, five. Six. Angle seven is just a downward slash. Some systems care about whether it's on the forehand or the backhand. I don't really care. Just any downward cut. Then angle eight is a straight in thrust. Some styles teach you should thrust palm up. Others don't really care. For me, it doesn't matter. Just as long as it's any straight in thrust. All right. So for future reference, whatever I teach these knife fighting videos. Anytime I say angle one, I'm referring to that. Anytime I say angle two, I'm referring to that. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Inside. Angle one, angle two, angle three, angle four, angle five, 
eight six, eight seven, and eight eight.